Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Nick from NickWilt.com and today I figured I'd give you all a little behind the scenes look at some of the stuff I've been up to recently. So a couple days ago I posted this series of images, which is essentially just a bunch of ink dropped in water filmed on a black backdrop. And I've been trying my hand at this a little bit more. I've been trying to refine my technique and make it a little bit easier. I think it's been coming along pretty well. I've been able to resolve a lot more detail in some of the images. And I figured I'd take this time right now to give you a little behind the scenes look at some of the stuff I've been doing, what my setup is, and uh, all that good stuff. So it's not going to be a fancy video or anything. I'm just going to film it on my phone. So I apologize if the footage is a little shaky or out of focus. But without further ado, let's turn around and show you my setup. So back here, you can just see a screen. Everything is on the other side of that screen. So I got a couple of lights right here, I got, a, I got a tank, and then I got my camera back there in the background, but I don't think you can actually see it. The two, the two lights right here are just soft boxes, and I have them illuminating this uh, white screen right there, and that's gonna act as our backdrop. For this particular shot that we're doing, we're gonna try and capture the ink falling on a white backdrop instead of a black one like you saw before. I've got two lights right here, which are simply just to provide a little bit more fill light, and then I've got my flash, and I've got my camera. And over here, I've got my camcorder set up, and I'm actually going to try and record video of the ink splashing into the tank so that you can see what that looks like from another angle. So before we do that, I'm going to quickly go over here and show you some of the ink that I've been using. And I filmed this twice before where I accidentally spilled the ink all over myself, so hopefully I don't do this again. I've been using this uh, Liquitex Professional Ink, which is a special kind of acrylic ink. I bought these for about $6 each from my from Michael's, you know, if you're not familiar, it's the craft store. So go to your local Michaels, pick up a couple bottles of acrylic ink, and that should work perfectly fine. Then all you need is a tank. This is a cheap one and a half gallon tank for Walmart. And then once we have all of that, we're going to get ready to go. So I'm going to show you my camera settings right over here, if I can actually turn everything on first. So I turn that off instead of on. Wonderful. So I've got my off-camera flash set to a zoom of 105 millimeters, set at uh, 1 64th power. And then over here on my camera, I've got it set to shutter speed 1 200th of a second at f5.6 at ISO 100. And then I've also got it set to self-timer continuous mode, because essentially what I'm going to try to do this time is I'm going to try to use both of my hands to dip two of those inks into the water and combine them together, and I can't do that when I'm holding my hand on the shutter. So without further ado, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get this started. So right before I do that, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to set the camcorder to record so that that way we can actually see what's going on. Okay, camcorder is recording. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off of the cell phone footage and then I'm going to go back to the camcorder and I'll show you what we're doing. So hold on just a minute. Okay, so now I should be over there on the camcorder. So I'm going to take a thing of red and blue ink and I'm going to try and place it right into the water and we're going to see what happens. So let me make sure my camera's set right. Okay, I'm going to tilt the screen so that I can see the timer. And I've got 10 seconds to go before I actually have to drip the water in. So let's just do that. Get myself ready here. Five, four, three, two, and one. And... Okay, so we now should be recording back on the phone again, and as you can see, that's what the ink looks like after I just dropped it down. I'm actually really curious to see what that looked like on the camcorder, because that seemed like it looked pretty cool. But anyway, let's see what we've got over here on the phone, and hopefully I did this right. Okay. Well, that looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can really see that too well. Yeah, it's definitely cool. It looks like it's changing to purple up towards the top. And you can't really see it too well because my phone keeps going in and out of focus. But, essentially, that's it. Now all I have to do is repeat this process a million times until I get an effect that looks pretty cool. But, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. A quick little behind the scenes of what I've been doing recently. If you want to f follow any anything else that I'm doing, you can check me out by going over to nickwilt.com and I'll probably update the website with some of the images I've been taking after this video has been recorded. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.